Hey, you're. It's your boy Pirate King Alpha, and we come in straight priority mail direct to your door with a summoning video. Y'all already know what it is. Big weekend. So y'all, as y'all probably know, the update got delayed. Um, shout out the Apple devs or the privacy team, whatever. Um, being kind of annoying. I'm not going to try to. I'm not trying to ruin it for Moonshine or anybody. Not like I have such an impact, but I just don't want to ruin anything i'd like the update to go through so i'm not going to speak too badly anyway and shout out to the game devs in Moonton for working diligently and very hard working very hard to get the update through so anyways we got five ancients four divines and a few rares now i want elwin and ardea you know what i'm saying and i'm going to say something about ancients really quickly so really quick we're gonna pull all the ancients, all the divines, until Elowing, hopefully. If we need all of them for her, I don't mind, but y'all already know what it is. And then my plan is, if we don't get her from divines, we'll go here, maybe 30 to 50, nothing crazy. I'm not trying to go, you know, going broke, spending everything in the bank, you know, throwing racks in the club. This weekend, I want to save for lust possibly in the near future. I'd really like a lust, that'd be fantastic. And so yeah, we're gonna start with the ancients. And I'm gonna say something really quickly. I'm not close to Lord Pity at all. I would say something else specific after that, but instead of that, I'm going to communicate what I want to tell you guys through the specific details of what I've noticed, rather than saying what I've noticed and saying the details. Here we go. I'm not close to Lord Pity. But I have gotten Ymirid on Ymirid weekend, and I was not close to Lord Pity then. And then during Glacius weekend, I think the day after I summoned some Glacius to A2, I got an elder who has been absolutely fucking phenomenal for my account. And my videos glitch a lot. Can you stop? Anyway, so I don't mind if I get a Harz or not. I really don't care. He'd be a fantastic defender for my account if I got him, and he would just be not breaking Lord Pity if I didn't get him. But my, as you guys heard me say, I got Ymir, and then very soon after an Elder, both Legendary Lord Pity category, um, and Ymir has the mini bonus, 4% damage, and then Elder has the Lord bonus, shield every 20 for 20 seconds, 20% attack for everybody who's shielded on his team, 15% basic attributes, you know, very strong skill, and the most generous lower skill in the game, next to Harzir. So, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm trying to... So, yeah, my point in doing all that yapping for about three minutes is... Holy... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Y'all don't, don't understand something. Let me explain something to y'all right quick. Let me explain something to y'all right quick. Not only is this, not only is Art Dea in the conversation for the best fighter in the entire game, if not the best fighter in the entire game, next to Valderon. You can just call him Ty, you can call him one of the two, whatever. Holy shit. Wow. Man, didn't I just tell you guys? I'm not going to complain about Ancients. And this is what happens. Holy shit. I pulled on the Ardea Ajax banner. Didn't get her. That's fine. That's fine. There's no Ancient. I see. Check it out. I'm someone in the fortunate category. I don't get to, you know, guys, don't complain about no non-Lord Pity and Ancients. You know, I've gotten quite, I've gotten some stuff. I've gotten some nice stuff from ancients i'm just gonna like i said guys i'm gonna keep it vague i don't want to ruin what's going on as you guys can see so i'm gonna keep the trend going you dig anyway i'm not gonna be the guy to tell other people 
what to and not to complain about when it comes to ancients because as you guys can see i don't get to fucking complain i've been playing about five months wow ah, wow i don't i i might wow i might have to end it here i might have to end it here oh wow i am at a loss for fucking words right now holy shit now let me give you guys just a quick backstory Volume warning for the screenshot. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I'm screenshotting all this. You got me fucked up. Done. Done. We're done, chum. We're, we're done. We're done with angels. We're done. We're finished. Moving on. Moving right along. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick backstory while we summon for. Thought we had five of these. That's fine. Wow. I'm. I'm. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. 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 Ardea. Wow. Wow. I have an Ardea. Wow. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh wow. Okay, so I pulled on the Ajax Ardea banner, didn't get it right, perfectly fine. I'm pulling on the Valor on Ymir, hoping for both, you know, which is very hopeful, you know, I'm just a hopeful guy, you know, I dream big, you know. Dream big, you just might get it, that's what my pops always told me. Anyway, hope for both, oh, hope for both, and I did not get them, but I got, I didn't, excuse me, did not get both, but I got Ymir. Fantastic, cleared, Cultist Faction Trial, Watcher Faction Trial, and... Esoteris' faction trial, thanks to him. Esoteris was really Boreas carrying and Anora doing a lot of work, but Ymir did a lot of work as well. Let's not discount him. He's at least the third most impactful in that trial. Without him, I would not have passed it, and the auto fight would be much harder. Anyway, then I told y'all about Elder, but you know, our day was here before. I, before Ajax, there might have been another one, either very early in when I started, maybe the first month or right before. So I was hearing about it, maybe saw some CC videos about it when I first started watching them. Anyway, I'm yapping. I wanted Ardea really bad, even before I knew she was really good. Like, look at Ardea. Look at Ardea, just for a quick second. I might not leave this all in the video, but my God, am I just excited as hell. I'm, wow, wow. No immediate heart, got it. So, look at her. She has two gigantic saw blade, circular saw cutter things. I don't know what these, what you would call these circular knife attachment blade like what the, what is this what would you call that like i don't know if this is some archaic weapon i don't know if that you know there's not a word for this circular blade but this, this doesn't come off like a blade to me because a blade in my head is one piece this is multiple blades not like the little triangles but each one of those spikes is a blade to me so that seems more like a uh a uh, aggregate blade where it's a blade made from multiple smaller blades, like each of those four, you know. Anyway, I'm doing a lot of yapping. My God, am I excited, holy shit. Anyway, when I first saw her, I maybe I think I noticed her maybe a month, a month and a half of the game. Mind you, you know, with new players, I didn't know about the main Discord. I wasn't just talking to people who knew anything at all. I just joined the game, was playing, having a good time, you know, just enjoying it. anyway. So I saw her and I was like, holy shit, you know, the Estria, the Valeria, they're all like, you know, a lot of the chicks in this game are badass. All the chick fighters are badass, but you know, there's some that are just badass among badass and she's one of them, you know, tatted up. She just has like a cloth bra thing, like chest container <laughs> is the most uh, YouTube appropriate way I think I can describe that. Uh, absolutely shredded, sick tats. Shave side of the head, fire red hair with the orange highlights looking like actual fire. And she's swinging these blades around like nobody's fucking business. Like, holy fucking shit. This chick is cool as fuck. That's what I thought when I first saw her. And, I, you know, obviously if a chick looks like this, she's going to be good. Like, regular good. Like a, you know, like a, in my head, like a Wrath, but like legendary, you know, much better type of thing. Like a Valeria. Never in my life. I, when I read her kit, I'm like, wow, she has a lot, you know. When I read it, I'm like, okay, you know, wow, 100 damage up to 120, okay, cool. Um, as her HP goes down, her trigger chance goes up by 50 at max, not up to 50, up by 50. So look at this, the increase goes up to 30, and then up 10 at level two and then four. That's up 50 from 25, up to 75, AKA three out of every four attacks at that HP, she's throwing them blades. And then during her ulti, guess what? She's throwing them twice. Excuse me. She's throwing two of them. She's super simple. She just attack, attack, attack. One in four, throws the blade, waits to attack till she gets it back. During her ulti, she throws two blades instead of one. And then when she's low HP, that 25% chance goes up to 75 total at 30% HP maximum. As in, she, if she's anywhere above 30, the chance goes down a little bit up to... 
or down to back to 25, I think she's, when she's at 100% HP. So she's just, just super straightforward, super simple. Again, I was super new to the game and I saw her and I'm like, she seems like a good hero, like a solid hero. You never could have told me, or I would have never just guessed off it that she was so absolutely buck wild broken in this game. Like arguably the best fighter in the game. You know what I'm saying? The only reason that she's in the conversation to be better than Valderon is that range. If she had the same two tower range, it would be Valderon, I think. Because Valderon is straight single target, but he does so much damage in that 20% splash that he gets off of his Annihilation Strike or Chaotic Annihilation that he can kind of be AoE because that's 300% damage almost and then a fifth of that just spreads. So it's almost just over half of his damage just hits everybody else. That's enough. You do that twice. You know, that's that's all that's 100% damage to surrounding enemies. So he's essentially AoE kind of and he hits you put enough damage on him anyway i almost forgot we went to summoning video holy shit oh my god oh my god dude now i'm gonna stop yeah i wanted this video to be 10 minutes max but i did not expect that i was hoping for it didn't expect it though but anyway we're right back to summoning i might cut some of that out i might not i don't know we'll see we used to, we want an eloin still our Dea absolutely blew our account out of the water i think our account got quite strong recently that's cool, I'm gonna sell him for some Awakening Coins. That's fantastic, I like that. Anyway, uh, not a legendary, that's perfectly fine. Medan, A5 I have it. Anyway, one more, an LO. No LO. I got Ardea, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I cannot complain. Um, but now here's the thing. I also did wanna get Eliza soon because the Gear Raid 3 Oracle Trial is right here. And I did want to Maybe get some diamonds or something? Is that it? I wanted to push Gear Raid 3 to 20. But, uh, so, okay, so we got both anyway. I'm not, I'm, nope, we're good. We're good. But damn, I, I feel like Eloin's worth it though. She's worth it. Let me see. Okay, so okay, perfect. Perfect. Am I like this is so satisfying? I got a screenshot of that. And I got it okay, that's fire. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got her without trying to get her. You know, without summoning and summoning to get her. I don't know why I left it. I'm just, I'm very... We really got the, the blade swinging chick. Like, good God, she is strong. Like, oh my God. It's over, dude. Like, what? Oh my God. I think, I think we have to put at least 20 for Elo, you know, some. Because to be fair, I want either of these Legos. I don't want a knife that bad. I just want her for Brea's Codex, because if I max her to 60, she'll be doing work, you know, duster and skills. She'll be doing work. So I'll pull, you know, two to five, 10 pulls and kind of see where we're at. You know, some epics would be cool. I might not let my go with y'all, because I kind of want some stuff to sell to the Awakening Shop. We're gonna go two to three more max. Yeah, we're on the right banner. Okay. All right. Give me some purples, please. Oh wow, that hurts. Like diamonds are cool, but man, I want some awakening coins. Like I want to buy some mithril from the awakening shop, and the only way to do that is awakening coins. There's no other way to buy mithril, you know, besides the arena shop, and that is just not efficient. So. We pulled what 10 or four temples. I'm thinking one more, and I don't have to feel too bad. Ah, that's fine. I got you. I might pull one more, just make it like a clean 60. Yeah, we have to now. We have to now. They just gave us seven. We have to now. Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, Elo's really useful. She's a really, really strong character. Uh, in the conversation for the best hero in the game, like Destin says, uh, watch his videos, by the way. Very informative, really cool guy. Really informative dude. And uh, very experienced player as well. 
And we're going to confirm that, and that'll be it. Uh, I'm going to end it off just admiring our day after claiming some summons from the West. And again, Elo, she'll be back. You know, like, like I don't have to, we don't have to trip too hard. Um, let's get some of these out the way so we don't have to trip about, you know, can't claim. But my God, I would, I would max her out right in front of you guys, but I don't actually have the XP. Because I was, as you guys just saw with the quick star up, getting heroes out of the way so my Ardea didn't go to backup storage. Because I'll be damned to hell if my Ardea goes to my goddamn backup storage. Do you understand me? So we got her. We got, we got Valeria's big sister, I call her. You know, to me, the only chick in this game who makes Valeria look weak. Chick, chick ground unit. Um, but yeah. Appreciate y'all watching. This was about twice as long as I thought it'd be, but... As you guys can see, there's a pretty darn good reason that it was twice as long as it was supposed to be. And I thought I was, you know, Brother Sage trying to give advice and bullshit. The hell, I, I don't know who the hell I think I am all of a sudden that I got an Ardea finally. But yeah, so I thought she was cool before I even knew that she was banging. And then I found out that she was banging, you know. So I'm just like, okay, I'll take her. You know, I, now I, before I wanted her because she was sick and I wanted to play her and see like what, how good she was. And now I know she's fucking amazing. And so I want her. I'll max out as many as much of her skills as I can. And then we'll end it there. And I'll switch this gonna be. Oh wow. Oh, that's what we want. We want that. We want this to max. This is the whole like Ardea skill, right? The, the chaotic skill that she gets, you know. So she's maxed now. We, we've maxed the trigger chance at 75. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And we, we haven't even put, we haven't even finished dust in here yet. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's insane. We've maxed out the circular blade, circular blade talent. And we're still not done with the dust. I'm gonna let this one roll. What's this one again? Oh, the bleed one? That one, I feel like that's the passive that matters the least. Because four seconds is quite a long time. Because again, during her ult, she throws two blades each time. So I'm not sure about that. But you know, I'm going to get some crystals in a second. Uh, wow. And she's, oh, wow. My arena is about to go. Oh, yeah, no crystals yet. None here. I did want to summon to these Lego summoning crystals. Or to these Lego skill crystals. I'm not going to lie to y'all, though. I did want to summon to these Lego skill crystals. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm gonna not do it. I feel like that's not worth it. The game gave me an Ardea. You know, Moon Time blessed the hell out of me. I think I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. Super duper fucking ahead. Super, super duper ahead. And I'm gonna leave it there. Thank y'all for watching. You feel me? It's been a uber successful summoning video. Probably our best yet. Um, I'm just gonna double check how many, I think that was two ancients, was that? That was two ancients. Screenshotting that as well because I'm gonna look at my photos later and be like, are you shitting me? And oh, really quick, really quick. She's not a lord, so it doesn't really matter. But my elder is here, which was 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 summons after. So, yeah. I'm not complaining at all about Ancients. You will never hear a complaint out of me about Ancients, ever. Since I got Ymir, I have I have, I've made it very clear <laughs> that that's my thing now. Mr. No never complained about Ancients, ever. I don't mind if other people do, because everyone is not me, right? Of course, but I won't. So it's been your boy PK Alpha. Appreciate y'all for watching, and I'm out of here. Peace.